at this. Oh, good stuff. I like that. <laughs> We're Devin Bree, and with our pup Archie and cat Tillo, we make up basically nomads. We've been living in our school bus converted tiny home for just over three years, and we've been traveling full time for the past five months. This week though, we're getting ready to finally leave Virginia, and we're going to be exploring everything the Northeast has to offer. But first, we need to get our new doors installed and painted. Move out of the way really quickly. Hi guys. I'd like to be in the video too, but Devin won't let me, so I have no to go way. sit on the couch. That's right. Go behave. And watch <laughs> an actor act. Oh, is that me? Okay. Okay, so this week we are replacing and painting all of our storage doors. So because of their location and because the bus is from the Midwest, we had a ton of rust. And in fact, we had to replace the entire underside of our storage, which cost a ton of money. Well, the last piece of that puzzle was to finally replace our doors, and since it's been over three years, it's been a long time coming. Thankfully, I connected with an amazing welder, fabricator, sheet metal worker. He really does it all, and he's local to the area that we were staying in in Virginia. So I connected with him, and he made us some brand new doors and did an incredible job. So here are the old doors. You can see they are uh, completely rusted through. This is how bad they were getting. The bottom of the door is basically non-existent. So, Ryan, being as awesome as he is, completely fabricated a new door from the ground up. Did all the bends, put the new hardware in. This thing is like OEM spec, and they look incredible. Now you can take them ugly little flapper locks off. Yes, my god. Yep. So unfortunately the doors were not the only things that completely rusted out. The rust was so bad in some spots that even the point where the latches are supposed to grab onto, it rusted out as well. So again, Ryan did an incredible job, far exceeding my expectations, and I really can't wait to go back down to Virginia just so I can work with them again. Altogether, I spent $600 on all the doors. That's $100 for each door and $200 for the hardware. All right, guys, so we are setting up our doors to get ready in paint. I got my friend Mandy here and her boyfriend Justin helping me out today. Um, we're gonna get the paint ready to go and have at it, I guess. What do you think, Mandy? Yep. You got it? Got it's it. gonna be awesome. This is a mock-up on Photoshop that Devin put together and this is kind of what we're going for. So let's see how we do. I think we can do it. It's gonna be pretty cool. Mandy started out by roughly creating an outline of where all the mountains would be. From here we would paint a layer at the top and then one at the bottom since it took so long to dry. I wanted to match the original bus paint job so we used an oil-based enamel making sure that the bottom mountain was the same color as our bus. I picked five different colors to give it a nice gradual look. So Mandy's gonna head out. We're gonna leave all four doors to dry this evening. So we can't really tape off any other lines until they're completely dry. All right guys, it is day two of painting. Mandy came after work to help me tape off some more mountain ranges and get to painting again. It's gonna be another night of drying probably and then I'll have to finish them up tomorrow. But we're going to hopefully install them right before we leave. So while we're waiting for the paint to dry, Mandy asked me yesterday, do you have any four leaf clovers around your bus? And I had no idea, but we fell and saw them. So things are looking up guys. I know paint has ran down my bus this past week. We're trying to hustle to get all this stuff done before we leave Virginia, but you know, we found some four leaf clovers. We are going to have to do another day of painting tomorrow. We have one more color and then final touch-ups and then the doors should be done. Okay, it's day three of painting these doors. 
We gotta get them done this evening. We'll let them dry and then hopefully install them tomorrow before we leave. But we have the last color going on now and they're looking pretty good. Gonna have some touch-ups to do. It is so hot today, like 90 degrees hot. Oh my gosh, guys, we just peeled off the last of the tape. That means these babies are ready to just sit and dry, but they are looking so good. Obviously, we're not in like a professional paint shop, so humidity and bugs have been a challenge, but um, it is what it is. It ain't gonna be perfect, but she's pretty, I can tell you that. So I'm super excited and thanks to my friend Mandy for helping me paint these. I mean, I just help tape, really. I mean, she's the artist, not me, but I just sent her some pictures and like a generalized idea of like what I was thinking in my head. I went and picked up the paint colors and she brought it to life. It's looking so good, I'm so excited. So it is install day with our new painted doors. I'm so excited to get these on the bus and check out what it's gonna look like. We're just installing the latches back. We're gonna drive them down to the bus and install them on the bus. Heck yeah, boys, it looks cool. Yeah, oh boys. Gosh, I'm excited. It looks cool. I barely hate it. <laughs> So the install process for these doors was really simple. I did add some adhesive because that was you know, how the doors were originally installed. So I didn't need to match the holes of the old doors. I was able to actually just use some self-tapping screws to attach the entire thing. Okay, keep going. I just did this process all the way around the bus. Obviously it helps to have a hand or two as we do in this case, but yeah. I think they turned out incredible. And again, huge shout out to both Ryan and Mandy for making these doors happen. Well, thank you guys again so much for watching all the way to the end of the video. Those of you that make it all the way to the end are gonna get a little bonus and we just wanted to update you guys on where we are each week. Since these videos are coming out after I've already done it, obviously, this is still a couple weeks behind. We are currently in upstate New York. We just went to Niagara Falls two days ago and it is absolutely beautiful here. But again, thank you guys for watching. If you're not subscribed, now would be a great time to do that because next week I'm gonna be covering how we bumped our solar system from 740 watts up to 2000. And it's been incredible for Boondock. All right guys, thanks again, and we will see you next week. Bye.